Welcome back to another episode, GW. I'm Jerry Vargas, and this is G Week from Home. Last Friday, March 19th, the Biden administration announced that they have hit their first COVID-19 milestone. In just 58 days since taking office, the administration has been able to distribute over 100 million COVID-19 vaccines, equaling 39 million Americans fully vaccinated. This comes 42 days earlier than the original goal of 100 million doses in the first 100 days. With the new goal completed so early, the administration is planning to lighten COVID-19 restrictions in midsummer and getting the country back to a pre-COVID era. News broke last week that Democratic Representative Jimmy Gomez from California introduced a resolution to expel Republican Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene from Congress. Representative Gomez has been quoted saying that Representative Greene, quote, advocated violence against our peers, the Speaker, and our government, end quote. It's unlikely the House has enough votes to expel Green. However, Green has an unfavorable opinion in the House as she was removed from her committees earlier this year for controversial social media posts. A high school in New Jersey has been ordered to pay $325,000 to a teacher for having forcibly edited a Trump t-shirt out of the school yearbook back in 2017. Susan Parson, the yearbook advisor, stated that the office secretary ordered the logo to be removed on the president's behalf. Once news broke that this occurred in Pearson's remarks, she was suspended from the school with pay, received death threats, and was the school's overall scapegoat. The school has since apologized for the incident. Now, here's co-host Katie Coolidge with some more national and DC news. Katie. Last Tuesday, three shootings in Atlanta area spas left eight people dead. Six out of the eight people were women of Asian descent. These killings come amid growing amounts of anti-Asian hate crimes. Nearly 3,800 incidents were reported over the course of the pandemic year. Last Friday, President Joe Biden urged Congress to pass hate crime legislation to address Asian American discrimination and violence. He said in a statement, quote, while we do not yet know motive, as I said last week, we condemn the strongest possible terms of the ongoing crisis of gender-based and anti-Asian violence that has long plagued our nation. Mayor Muriel Bowser is easing some COVID restrictions as vaccinations become more available. Rule rollbacks will start March 22nd, possibly followed by more by April 5th. Included in the rollbacks will be the allowance of outdoor gatherings of up to 50 people. Restaurants will be allowed to sell alcohol until midnight and open up their indoor capacities to 25%. Most excitingly, movie theaters will be open for the first time since the pandemic started, allowing 25% capacity. It will be interesting to see the progression of these rates as now things are opening back up and students are returning from their spring break vacations. The death of 33-year-old Sarah Everhart has launched a movement to combat violence against women in Britain. She was abducted on a busy London street walking home from a friend's house at 9 p.m. March 3rd and later found dead. More shockingly is her accused killer, police officer Wayne Cousins. Women across the UK were infuriated by her death and many share tips on how to protect themselves when alone in a city and others share personal experiences. The vigil that was held in Everard's honor in Clapham Common ended with a number of women handcuffed and detained by police officers after alleged violations of COVID-19 restrictions. That's all for this week, GW. Make sure to check us out on gw-tv.com or on Instagram at gweeknews. Stay safe and stay healthy.